Okay, we're back with some more stories. 50,000 is deposited into a savings account. Two years later, furthers us. Three years later. So, of course, immediately we're thinking, well, there's going to be a glorious timeline going along. Let's see if I can do it just up to there. Then we can see it all while we have the calculator up. So, one great straight, not so straight line. Uh, I am going to do this a little bit higher, though, so that we've got as much space as possible. Okay, so here we are. Remember, we always start at T0. So 50,000 Rand is deposited right at the beginning. So we're going to put 50,000 Rand in right at the beginning. Two years later, a further deposit of 20,000 is made. Three years later, withdrawal is made. And the interest rate, by how much is over eight years? The reason I'm jumping to the end is I want to know that the last bit's T8. So I've got a little bit of scale to my, yes, a little bit of scale to our diagram. So kind of T4 would be over there. T2 doesn't have to be perfectly to scale, but I don't know. I think it's useful. So, yeah, two years later, a further deposit of 20,000 is put in. So, 20,000 Rand. Three years later, withdrawal is 15,000 Rand. So, that, as I said, is sort of over there at least. Now, when we withdraw 15,000 Rand, two different conventions that I've seen people use sometimes people put minus, and sometimes people put in brackets, or you can kind of combine the two. Something that indicates that you're not putting the money in, you're taking it out. And of course, if you've got some colors with you, you could be like, well, I'm going to just somehow indicate that that's the story. And the last bit we got is that our interest rates, of course, change, and that for the first three years, so up to over here at T3, our interest is... I'm just going to change this color because it doesn't come out that clearly. T3, our interest rate here is 13% per annum compounded quarterly. So I just like to kind of capture things in the timeline as effectively as possible. So one way that I like to do is, okay, 0, 0,1, 3, and just put kind of a quarter over there because then I know that I'm dealing with 0, 0,1, 3, over four. Sometimes people might write over four. That seems a little bit strange to me because the interest rate isn't that over four. The interest rate is that quarterly. And then is decreased to 11,2%. Maybe that's why they started withdrawing money. So 0,112%. And that now is compounded monthly. So I'm just going to put a 12. Just feels a bit easier than writing monthly. And you've got that concept of over 12. So now we need to put all of that stuff from the timeline into our into some sort of grand equation. So at T8, we've got maybe let's go for blue. A equals. Now these are these long formulae, right? So we've taken our 50,000. And now we're going to look at each amount. So we're going to look at that 50,000 and see what happens over eight years. Then the 20,000 and see what happens for that. And then the 15,000 and subtract that. So the 50,000 for three years. So for three years, it's going at 0 0.13 or 13% compounded quarterly. So it's going at 0 0.13 compounded quarterly for three years, which is 12 months. No, 12, I don't know. 12 compounding periods, 12 quarters, I should say. And then after that, that amount's going to carry on for another five years. And this now for five years is going to be going at that percentage, 0, 0,112. And it's monthly. And that's five years. Five times 12 gives us 60. Okay. Whew. And then we're going to do it for each one. Plus the 20,000. Something similar is going to go on there. So you, let's see. Just squeeze it in. I'm kind of looking to see that I can fit this in nicely. So there we go. That's that's that 20,000. And I'm kind of a template person. So I know that that's going to go quarterly at 0, 0,13 for one year, which is four quarters. Yes, four quarters, right? And well, it's just one times four. And then here we're going monthly at 0, 0,112. And that's going to be this kind of same one here to the power of 60. And then we need to subtract this 15,000. So 15,000 
Well, that 15,000 rand would have been in here for three years and it would have been at this percentage here, which we said was 0 0.112. So that compounded monthly 436. And so there's our formula. So now if I scroll down, because that's the bit that we're interested in, we're going to plug that all into our calculator. Now, up to you how you want to do this. If you want to put this whole thing in, I think it is very, very useful to use our storage features in the calculator. So this bit in here, I'm going to call A because it comes up a few times. There it is. There it is. So in my calculator, which is, I think, over here. There we go. I've got 1 plus 0, 0.13 over 4, and I'm going to shift store that in A. And for this other bit, because it comes up a few times, this bit over here seems to come up a few times. I'm going to store that in my calculator in the variable B. So let's do that. 1 plus in here, 0, 0,112 divided by 12 and shift store B. So now when I put this whole thing into my calculator, it's going to be a whole lot easier because we've got 50, 1, 2, 3 into, well, that whole bracket is A, so we can just go A to the power of 12, alpha B to the power of 60. So that already looks easy. So if I've, something looks a bit strange, I can go back and go 50,000. Oh, yeah, I wrote 500,000 by mistake or 5,000. Oh, I'd made a mistake with those. It's just going to less likely to make errors. 20, 1, 2, 3. And that's going to be A to the power of 4. Oh, A to the power of 4 and B to the power of 60 again. Um, alpha B to the power of 60, and we're going to subtract 15, 1, 2, 3. Um, now that was just b, so b to the power of 36, and in it goes, and hopefully 146 is our final answer, 146,884,008, so 0, 1. So that's what the thing looked like at the end. Okay, hopefully maybe helpful with those hints and tips with the A's and B's. I, I definitely, definitely recommend doing doing that. So that's that for now. If you are still videoing, then I'll see you into the next video. Otherwise, I'll see you at some stage. And don't forget, take a good